hey guys, um, I think this is going to help. Okay, so this, this is uh, my Google syndication tribe um, URL. Just go to your internet. This is link.com forward slash syndication. Um, and you'll see up here, this is my Google Reader account. And what, you, what I've done here is I've just pulled in a, um, a YouTube SFM tribe. Let me just show you how powerful this is. All right, so what I've got in here is I've got um, all the URLs from um, <laughs> it's my tribe video. But if I go back to the SFM, uh, inside the SFM, uh, Justin Tio set up a really cool group um, all about um, video marketing. Um, here it is. It's the YouTube Mastermind channel. Um, and if you click on that, uh, if you're not a member, become a member. Uh, but you'll see here that um, what he's done is he's brought in these, um, these are all the members' YouTube uh, um, video links that they've uh, input and what I'm here to do is I'm here to make this really super simple for you uh, if you're not part of the syndication tribe now's the time to join this tool alone will um, will save you an absolute ton of time um, the uh, premise behind this group is that we pe that people support each other's uh, YouTube channels uh, simple as that and you go across here to um, uh, to these links and you know wait for the YouTube video to um, run up and then obviously you can make a comment and you'll see here that uh, some of the members, uh, Justin, um, Jeff and Fiona obviously, and Craig Mullock, they've made some comments. Um, but obviously this requires uh, flicking around all over YouTube, uh, checking out these channels. Well, what I want to show you is a quick um, and, and simple fix. It uh, saves time and that's what it's all about, productivity. Um, so if I bring up this uh, little text document, what I've got here is I've got a URL that you need to make a copy of. Okay, so there's the URL, uh, gdataYouTube.com feeds base users and then username. Now this username is the only piece that you're going to change. This piece here is the bit that you're going to change, and I'm going to show you for, to ref, reflect the channel that you want to subscribe to in your reader. Now obviously, if you haven't set up reader yet, um, get yourself across to um, uh, syndication formula um, and check out these videos, Google tools, including you know the, some of these videos. There'll be an extra video here showing you exactly. Um, the, the tools that you're going to need to be able to do what I'm going to show you. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is how you can save a ton of time. All right, so here we are. What I've done is I've gone across to YouTube, and as an example, um, with um, uh, Paul's channel, I think it's Paul. Let's just check. I haven't got a name on there, but um, let's just, um, as an example, let's use my channel. Right, so let's just go to my channel. Okay, let's pause the video. <laughs> it's a rubbish video. I put this up a long time ago. Um, but either way, uh, we get yourself across. This is the channel. Okay, so what I'm going to show you how to do here is literally this. The URL that I just gave you, just paste it in, and then where it says username, you take you take the channel username. So in this case, it's who is Mark Taylor. So who is Mark Taylor? Hit the button, say subscribe now, and you'll see here that um, I've already paused that audio. You'll see here I've already got the uh, folder set up, so I actually created this folder. It's really, really simple to do that, but I'm just going to hit subscribe. And you'll see it's dropped it down here um, in no man's land. Uh, what I want to do is I want to put that in the same folder as all the rest. So go to feed settings and drop it into my uh, YouTube SFM tribe folder. And you'll see now that it's now in this folder. And you'll notice that um, all most of the videos are actually greyed out, which means I've actually marked them all as red. So I've been there and read them. But obviously uh, in this case, um, I've just added mine. And if I scroll to the bottom of this you'll see that uh, all my videos are in dark black because I've just added them. So every time somebody uh, adds a new video it will appear just like this has uh, with the little brackets with 10 in it it will appear as you know one so you've put up a new video. Why am I showing you this? Why, why is this going to save you time? Well let me show you what happens. So let's say a new video comes in, comes in from Jeff and Fiona. So here's the video some information, the channel. Now normally I'd have to go across to YouTube and watch it. I want to show you this little link here. See this link button? Hit the link button. It actually brings up the video. 
there you go, I can watch it. Um, but I can also go in here and make a comment. And obviously I can read other people's comments as well. Um, all very, very powerful stuff. Um, that is a time saver. So I want to do the same with Vanda. Click on Vanda's video. Hit this little link button here. Bang. Hi, it's Vanda here. Hi, Vanda. I can watch the video and I can make a comment. Okay, this is time saving. Never have to leave Reader. You'll know exactly when somebody's put up a new video onto their channel and you'll be able to go ahead and make comment as part of the syndication. Um, and if you want to take out the whole feed and for Justin only, if Justin, if you want to pull this feed into your um, into your tribe um, where there's a little box to add an RSS, you can just go up here, go into the uh, show details button, and this is the feed. The, in, the, the feed URL. So this feed up here, it looks a mess, but literally you can just take out this feed, obviously from the www Google bit and onwards. Oops. So you can take this feed here, and you can uh, dump that into your uh, feed reader on your group, and it will bring in people's new videos as they upload them. Um, looks scruffy like that, but that's just because it's in that format. Hope this helps, mate. Have a good one.